at the start of the project, we know our budget act complete. And during delivery, we need to track whether there's going to be a variance act complete based upon the budget. Now the earned value indicator, CPI, the cost performance index, gives us a metric that we can quickly calculate the estimate act complete based upon the budget act complete and how efficiently we are working. This video podcast explains the CPI and the advantages to you in using this to calculate during implementation the estimate act complete and the variance act complete if there is one. So what is the CPI? Well the CPI is known as the cost performance index. It's also known as the value for money indicator and if you read Steve Wake's book EVA in the UK he asks the question how much does it cost to earn one pound of budget? So if we have a pound to produce a deliverable does it cost us that pound more or less or do we actually deliver on the money? So the formula CPI is based on CPI the cost performance index equals BCWP divided by ACWP. Now the BCWP is the budgeted cost of work performed, also known as the earned value. The ACWP is the actual cost of work performed, also known as AC. Now this is taken from Steve Wake's book EVA in the UK. An alternative formula that Ray Stratton identifies in his book the Earned Value Management Maturity Model is that CPI equals EV divided by AC. Let's look at a worked example. Now we'll assume that we need to do some design work and what we need is a budget to complete this design work. We'll start with £5,000 for the design workshop, write the design, do a structured review, finalise it and that gives us the budgeted cost of work scheduled. So our planned budget is £16,000, known as the planned value or the BCWS, to produce the design. Now let's look at a table. So we've completed the design work. We had our budgeted cost of work scheduled. That was our planned value. We've actually got our earned value. And as we complete the work, we earn the budget. But we've also looked at what's our actual cost. And what we're interested in is how much did it actually cost us to do that work. And if you look at the table, you'll see that it cost us £18,000, but we only had a budget of £16,000. Now, the cost performance index is important because we will use this algorithm to calculate the CPI metric. So remember, the CPI is the BCWP divided by the ACWP, or CPI equals EV divided by AC. So £16,000 divided by £18,000 gives us a CPI of 0.89. Now the target is to have a CPI of 1 and this is less than 1. And we'll come on to the reasons why we want to know this next. So what do we do with the CPI? Well again referring to Ray Stratton's book The Earned Value Management Maturity Model He identifies on page 34 that it's possible to predict how much money will be spent getting to the end of the project based upon the CPI. And this has been proved statistically and the assumption is valid. The project work is as difficult as it is. And for those of you who have worked in a project environment, you will understand this. If projects are difficult at the start, they remain difficult. They don't tend to get any easier. So we know the budget act complete. We had £16,000 previously. We know our CPI, which was 0.89. What we want to do is a statistical calculation of the estimate act complete. And we will call this the IEAC. And this is an algorithm again, where we divide the budget act complete by the CPI. So IEAC stands for Independent Estimate Act Complete. The BAC is the Budget Act Complete and the CPI, as we said earlier, is our Cost Performance Index. Alternatively, it could be shown as Estimate Act Complete 
equals budget at complete divided by the CPI. And again, this looks at two publications, EVA in the UK by Steve Wake, or the Earned Value Management Maturity Model by Ray Stratton. So lots of theory, lots of algorithms. Let's look at a worked example. Let's assume our budget at complete is £250,000 and we have a CPI of 0.89. Now we can prove then that the independent estimate at complete is 250,000 divided by 0.89. That gives us 280,898 pounds. The variance at complete, which we do need to know during the project, is our 250,000 minus our 280,000 pounds. We've got an overspend of 30,898 pounds. And of course, this is not good. Now the CPI is a metric and it gives us the efficiency with which we are using project funds or staff hours. So in the Earned Value Management Maturity Model Book, what Ray Stratton identifies is that these are metrics. The CPI equals the Earned Value divided by the actual cost. And if our estimate at complete is our budget at complete divided by our CPI, and because we might have earned value and actual cost in hours, therefore we can use this metric because we're looking at two terms with the same unit of measure. In this instance then, it's hours. So it's valid to identify the CPI and therefore our estimate at complete could be in hours, not necessarily in financial terms. So let's assume that we have a budget at complete of 4,500 hours. We've done our estimating, we've done a bottom-up estimate based on a work breakdown structure and we believe we need 4,500 hours of work. Now we've calculated our CPI early in the project and so we can calculate our estimate at complete as our 4,500 divided by the 0.89. This gives us 5,056 hours. And so suddenly we've identified now that we're going to need more resources to deliver the project, to get to the end point, unless our scope is going to change. Now we'll identify six advantages. Let's look at the first three. Perhaps the most important is that it is a quick algorithm to calculate the new estimate at complete. We know what our budget at complete is, that's how much we have to spend. What we want to know is, what is the estimate at complete and is there a variance at complete? The next thing is that it's quick. Remember, it's an algorithm. So we are taking data that we should gather anyway and using this to calculate the EAC, the estimate at complete. And it's a unitless measure. So it doesn't have to be in money, it could be in hours and it assesses the risk to our budget. Is our variance at complete greater or less than it should be? And the last three advantages are, firstly, it's an early warning indicator. And we can go back to our project board, the great and the good, and we can say to them, we believe we have an issue because our CPI is below one. Also, because we have the CPI and it's a quick algorithm, we can go back to people without having to burn the midnight oil. And personally, I don't like sitting up all night reviewing a work breakdown structure and trying to recalculate it. And finally, remember, as Ray Stratton says in his book, project work is as difficult as it is. It does not get any easier. Now, there are two publications that I referenced in this presentation. The first is called the Earned Value Management Maturity Model. And thank you to Ray Stratton for agreeing that I can reference his book. Secondly, it's a publication called EVA in the UK. And also thank you to Steve Waite for agreeing that I can reference his book. Steve's is available at the website that you can see on the screen now. My name's John Chapman. I thank you for watching this. Goodbye.